Hello, I am part of the examining team for the financial reporting FR exam. The purpose of this presentation is to provide you with some guidance that you might find useful to give yourself the best possible chance of passing FR. To improve your chances of passing the FR exam, you must practice your exam technique. This includes understanding how to approach different question types. To do this, you must also understand the format of the exam and how each section of the exam will be examined. In this video, we will be focusing more on practical advice related to approaching the exam content. So for specific guidance on the format and structure of the exam, you should look at the resources available on the ACCA website. The objective test questions in sections A and B of the exam will cover a variety of topics across the syllabus. So it is vital that you have a good understanding of the full syllabus. You cannot ignore any part of the syllabus when preparing for the exam. Before you answer a question, make sure you read the information and requirement carefully. It can often be helpful to read the requirement first. Where you are given a scenario related to the question, make sure that you take some time to read this carefully and consider the context of this when answering a question. You should not add any information into the scenario yourself or make any assumptions. All the detail that you need to answer the question will be there. You must also make sure that you pay particular attention to dates. For example, is it a full year of depreciation that you require or only six months? Not calculating figures on a monthly basis when required to do so by the question is a very common mistake. Also, where a question has multiple answer options for you to choose from, consider whether any of the options can be discounted straight away. For example, they might include something which you know is definitely wrong, even if you have not quite figured out what the right answer is yet. Your workings for sections A and B will not be marked but it is important that you approach each question in a clear and logical manner. Questions which involve calculations will need to be worked out carefully, as any distractor option available for you to choose from will have been designed by incorporating common mistakes that candidates are likely to make. Section C consists of two constructed response questions. One will be based on preparing financial statements, and one will be based on analysing and evaluating financial statements. One of these questions will relate to a single entity and the other will relate to a group of companies, so will involve consolidated financial statements. In particular, candidates tend to find the analysis and evaluation of financial statements most challenging. You will often be required to calculate certain ratios and to comment on the differences or movements between a prior year, a competitor's results or industry averages. Your analysis must extend beyond generic statements about such ratios and be clearly linked to the scenario. Simple textbook answers about what might be considered to be a good or bad ratio are not sufficient to be awarded marks in the FR exam. Similarly, it is not enough to simply state that a ratio has increased or decreased. Instead, you must explain why this is the case and what impact it will have based on the particular facts and figures available to you in that specific scenario. With financial statement preparation questions, candidates usually do better when preparing a statement of financial position than other statements, such as the statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income. However, you need to be ready for whatever financial statement might be asked for. You should look at the detailed study guide available on the ACCA website for more guidance on what could be examined and must do plenty of question practice so that you can maximize the marks you are awarded, particularly when there are standard approaches to workings which can be used. Remember as well that the constructed response questions are manually marked by expert markers, so your answer will need to include workings that are clear and appropriately referenced to the figure in the main financial statements that you are preparing to ensure that you are awarded full credit for your response. There are many more resources available to you on the ACCA website, which will help you to prepare for the FR exam. We hope that you have found this presentation useful. Thank you for watching and good luck with your future studies.